just hanging around, burning it down Sipping on some cold Jack Daniels Jamming to some old Alabama with you, baby, laying right here Hello everyone, I am gonna cook dinner Even though I should be cooking dinner because she's the one that lost the time. But anyways, I'm gonna make potato wedges. There's like no food really, no. so. Potato wedges, I put the oven in 450 and it's about to go up. For those, then, oh, sorry. What? For people curious, uh, like tracking macros for these potato wedges, you wanna read the macros for the serving? Yeah, it is 110 calories, three grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. And they're delicious. So delicious. There's one point where Tim and I would like eat these like every day. I'm not being joking. Like four times. These are red skin potatoes. And I'm also gonna make uh, these butternut squash. Um, they're, they're also very good and they're pretty low on carb. They're not too high on carb. So. And then right here, I'm gonna cut some chicken. And that will be. All right, so here I have all the potatoes and butternut squash, and they're right here. Tim cut the chicken, and I'm about to cook it. And now he's currently washing dishes. What a rare sight of Tim Rodriguez. Oh, don't even know. I wash dishes more than you do. Just That's ask your parents. Boom. That is a lie. Um, I wash my dishes at home. Maybe not at his house, but at my house they do. Oh, talking about like what? What? You have something to say. She's trying to make me look bad. I watched this just plenty of times when her family cooks dinner, and you that, know that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we yeah. work together as a, as a team. Yeah, that's true. I give him a call. Alright. What seasonings did you put on there? I put um, just regular salt. On one side, and then Tony Chestries. 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 This is the bee's knees. It's really good. So I put that on the other side, and then I'm probably gonna add soy sauce just to make it better. Also, in the mid of cooking and everything, I just forgot to uh, show you guys what Kayla got me from Disneyland because she just went to California uh, for her work. Yeah, don't we all wish we had a job like that where we just travel? Ah! Okay. So, uh, all right. So she got me um, this elephant for decoration. Um, she knows I'm obsessed with elephants because I like love them. Focus. Yeah. See. So I'm gonna put that in my room. And then she got me this uh, necklace, and my birthday is in August, so this is like my birthstone. It's super cute. And then she got my parents a pen and uh, a Minnie Mouse keychain. So, and here we have Tim and Skylar. I don't know what he's doing. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah. But anyway, thank you Kayla so much for the gifts. You didn't have to buy me anything, but of course I appreciate it with all my heart. I love you to pieces. And yeah.
currently making my chicken. So Babe's only treating me to the fanciest of fanciest of paper plates. Right here. I see you. Anyways, it's been like a freaking hour. I'm starving. Excuse me. So I ended up putting a little bit of olive oil on top. Along because, with, yeah. And along with that thing. Tony's Chester's, the olive oil. Olive oil kind of sped up the process of it cooking. Yeah. So you got the potatoes with the butternut squash. And this, this. Oh, chicken. and we also put um, a little bit, like a tablespoon or two, babe. Of uh, uh, whipping cream just to make it taste a little better, but it's like really rare. Oh, yeah, which is so. this yeah. heavy whipping cream, mm. which I never started eating till I started coming around Paul's family. There's a lot of stuff you didn't before. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I eat now since I'm with Paula. All right, so the final product right here we got the chicken breast. Uh, with some of that mix or what it what a sauce whatever the hell it was and some potatoes some butternut squash gonna eat ketchup with mine making Paula drink water since she never does and then she's got the same thing as well so did kind of doubt her for a second but came out great all in all I'm just kidding but thanks babe for dinner now we're gonna watch some prison break little focus I don't know why it's not focusing what the hell Everybody, it is July 18th. Um, I am all dolled up to go somewhere, but um, I just wanted to really just show you guys my makeup since you probably will never see me with my makeup again. But um, have like nude color lipstick, my uh, my like uh, blush. My eyes are all like makeup up, and I did do like the. Um, I also did do like the winged eyeliner since I'm actually not getting my eyelashes done again until the day before leaving to LA. So uh, by doing like an eyeliner on top, it's gonna make it seem like I have like bigger eyelashes. So, well, I think, I don't know. But so yeah, um, I'm ready to go somewhere and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, um, so, um, I'm gonna go shower right now because it's about like 10 ish already. And um, afterwards, I'm gonna uh, curl my hair with paper towels and I might um, record it for you guys. Actually, I am. I'm gonna do that. So, I'm gonna curl my hair with paper towels and I'm gonna sleep with them overnight. And I got this idea because. One of my kids that I coach at work, um, her name is Jada, she came up to me, she watches my YouTube videos, so she might be watching me right now. Uh, but she came up to me, she's like, Coach Paula, like, do you see my hair, it's so curly? I was like, yeah, it's so pretty, how'd you do it? She's the one that told me about it, so then I like looked it up on YouTube on how to do it. And I wanna try it, cause it looks really pretty, so I might just, I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna wake up with it tomorrow morning and I'm gonna show you the end results and see how it really looks like. So, yeah, I'm excited actually. All right, I'm gonna go shower now. All right guys, so I am fresh out of the shower. Here's my paper towel. And, all right, so on the video, whenever you like um, put this in your hair, like I have the half piece paper towel ones, you're probably going to want to cut that in half. Um, oops. Okay. You're probably going to want to cut it in half to about this like size. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a piece of hair. Let's say like about like this much maybe. You might want to have your hair, if it's dried, you might want to like wet it a little bit. Like, you might want to um, like spray it with water or something. Something like, I don't know, to have it kind of wet. But my hair is just fresh out of the water, so, I mean the sh shower. Okay. So what you do is, you put your paper towel on the ends, and then you... 
wrap it like this and then you go wrapping it all the way to the top. Okay, and whenever you get to the top, you're going to, hold on. This is my first time ever doing this, so don't judge. You're going to tie it just like a knot, and that's all you do. Okay, so that's my first piece. I'm gonna do a, quite a few, and then I'm gonna check back with you. Okay, so so far I've done the front. This is how I look. I know I don't look like, you know, pretty right now, but whatever, it'll look pretty tomorrow. Um, just as I'm doing them, uh, make sure to not tighten them so like, so much because then it will tear off, like the, the, not, the paper towels will tear off. So just be gentle with it. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm thinking like, whenever I go to sleep, like sleeping with this isn't gonna hurt your head because it is like paper towel that's on your head. Ask to if you like, um, I don't know, I used to braid my hair a lot. Like I used to have so many braids on my hair and that would hurt my head. But this, I don't think it will just because it's like uh, paper towel and it's light on your head. So I think, I don't know. So far this is how I look. That's how much more I have to do, but yeah. So far, so good. All right, guys, I am done. That took me like about no more than 15 minutes. So it's quick, it's super easy, this is what your head's gonna look like. But um, yeah, I actually had fun doing this. I didn't use any paper towels either, I actually have two left over that I had to cut. Um, but yeah, if you ever wanted to use a method where you don't uh, burn your hair and you wanna curl it but you don't wanna burn your hair, you should try this and see how it works for you. Um, I would think that the thicker your hair is, the more you should put on or depending on the type of curls that you want. If you want tighter curls, make them tighter all the way to the top. If you want um, more like curls at the end, make it looser. Um, just depending on your preference type of curls. But chat, yeah, this is what I look like. I look crazy in now. I look so crazy, but I mean, it works for now. So I'm gonna show you guys in the morning. So stay tuned. Alright, what's up guys? It is 10.22 in the morning. And I'm about to take these off. So, technically all you do is you like untie them. Like that. And then just bring them down. And then you have little curls. Wow, they're so spiraled. Oh my god, I don't know what I just did to my hair. Let's see. <laughs> end up looking like you're obviously not to style here here somehow but this is what you look like guys but anyways <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this craziness of me that I decided to do <laughs> and I'll see you later bye